This is the first piece of property that the church bought. We paid $19,000 for that back in 1996, a little less than two acres, and we were able to start building and move in in 2003. We recently added the Kids Zone building, which we actually bought back in 2007. We were able to occupy it this past summer. Paid $15,000 for the building, put about fifteen to 20000 in it, and we have 1,800 more square feet of space that is uh, helping us disciple uh, children. We're thankful for that space. Back in 2008, the opportunity became available to purchase the empty lot across the street. Added about three quarters of an acre. We paid right around $20,000 for that. And then the opportunity opened up. We weren't even seeking it to purchase that house over there that we use for a parsonage house, maybe a rental house in the future. Paid about $35,000 for that last year in uh, June of 2008. And uh, thanks be to God, when we refinanced all those items, our payment went down and not up when we uh, added that uh, house to our payment. Very thankful for that. Now this past year, we went ahead and uh, added some of the railroad right of way through an out of court settlement with the railroad. Uh, you see that there's that little bit in the bottom right that got added. But uh, let's take a look and see what might be available when we take a really big view. We can see that we're in the bottom left there and there's a lot of space around us. And we've eyeballed this space to our, uh, that would be our east, uh, for about a year and a half now. We just discovered it a year and a half actually ago. It's uh, 4.4 acres. Uh, and not only is it a good sized piece of land, it's easily more than the land we have right now. It's available for sale to us for the price of $24,000. Now that red strip you see in the middle there, that's railroad right of way that uh, we would be able to uh, access uh, through an out-of-court settlement with the railroad once we own that other piece of property. What are we gonna do with this 4.4 acres if we buy it? We're not real sure, but we're convinced that people quit making land a long time ago, that there's only so much adjacent land and undeveloped adjacent land, there's no one this property is more valuable to than us. Now, what does God have for our future? I'm not sure, but we know that he wants to increase our opportunities to go ahead and touch people and to build vertical or horizontal relationships and to keep growing till there's no one left in Pittsburgh that hasn't heard or doesn't know the salvation and forgiveness of Jesus Christ. In a short time, we'll be voting on this piece of property, whether the congregation should go forward and buy this. We believe it's going to be a great opportunity for what God may have for us in the future.